Hi, Matthew back with the Huddle Haas, and today I'm going to talk about our Silver Fox Rabbits. This is a breed of rabbit that I have wanted for a long time, and finally I did find some. I got them for a couple reasons, and one of the reasons was when 2020 came about and, you know, people were running to the supermarkets and buying everything off the shelves, it uh, made me realize that uh, maybe we needed some more things around than just the chickens uh, to be more sustainable. And um, so I went to Craigslist and I saw an ad for Silver Fox Rabbits. And like I said, they were hard to find in this area. And so I found them and uh, I called the guy and he said, hey, if you come and get them right now, I will give you everything I have. I was on my way out to butcher them and you called. So if you come, you can have everything. And I didn't want a lot because I wasn't set up at that time. Well, it's starting to rain. Uh, I wasn't set up for that at the time. And he said, well, I'll give you some cages. So we drove about an hour and a half away from here. And uh, he gave us a buck and two does. And one of the does had four babies with her. And so we have them, and he gave me a cage, water, feeders, the whole nine yards. And plus I had the one um, hutch that I'm going to show you in this video here that we have two of the rabbits in. And uh, But yeah, we got them because we just wanted to have a little bit more security, and rabbits are pretty prolific, right? Uh, we know that, <laughs> all the old sayings about rabbits and, and what they do to reproduce. And these have shown to be pretty good um, rabbits. Um, they're beautiful. These, what I have, are black with the silver on the back of them, the more traditional or what you think of when you think of silver fox rabbits. Um, they also come in a couple other colors like lilac and chocolate. Um, but these are, uh, yeah, more of the traditional. Now these rabbits will get up to, you know, does 9, 10 pounds, bucks may get up to 12 pounds. Um, they're large body, they're dual purpose, they're a heritage breed. They can be used for meat as well as for their um, fur. And their fur is really, really soft, especially when they're babies. Now our doe mama, which I'm gonna show you, um, she has been the best breeder for me. Um, I don't know how old she is. I don't know, um, I think the guy that had them before had them pedigreed, they do have tattoos in their ears. I need to follow, it, follow through with that and look into that and, and see how to go ahead and pedigree rabbits. So if you guys know, uh, comment below, or if you have um, a source or a website that I should look at to see how to pedigree rabbits, just let me know, put that down below. Um, these, uh, we haven't eaten any of them yet. I have given them away, mostly uh, to, to friends and, and uh, relatives. Uh, when I have, you know, the babies that we've had. And uh, I have them again, yeah, for the meat, but also their, uh, their droppings, their manure is really good for the garden. It's a cold manure, and whenever I put my tomato plants in or my pepper plants in, I will just put a handful of the pellets in the dirt with it, and it really, really works. And uh, we saw that this year with how well our garden did. I had an uncle that um, he had a small garden and all he put on it for fertilizer was uh, rabbit droppings. So um, that'll be collecting uh, this winter and then I'll clean that up and throw it in the garden in the spring. And like I said, it's not a hot manure, so you can go ahead and put it directly to plants. So yeah, I'm going to show you in this video uh, one of our does. I'm going to show you some of our setup so you can get an idea and you can get to see this beautiful rabbit. So this is Mama. She is one of our silver fox does. We have two does and two bucks right now. Um, I always like to keep an extra buck. Uh, you can hear our dog in the background. Um, he's not too terribly fond of the rabbits. <laughs> anyway, but she is a good doe. Um, she's really sweet. She's really laid back. You can't really get the sense of the size of her right now, but she is uh, fairly large. <clears throat> she's had three sets of litters for me. Each time she's had... Uh, four babies, but uh, with our buck, one of our bucks, Papa, uh, the neighbor came and brought their, um, uh, probably like a New, New Zealand, I think, or a Californian uh, doe, and bred it with that buck, and they had 12 babies. They were super excited. But like I said, she's only given us four each time, which that's good enough, and uh, they're, they're sweet rabbits. They're beautiful rabbits. You can see, look how pretty she is. So this is our setup here. <clears throat> this is a hutch that was made. We have mama in here and a male. And then over here, 
we have um, two other ones. This is Scar. He got, something tried to get him when he was just a baby. Um, I had this long cage out on the, the grass so they could eat grass and um, the next morning I came in and something had tore around his eye and his chest. But he has been healthy ever since. He's done really well. He just has a messed up eye. And then another young doe here. And I just feed them the pellets that come from uh, Whirl King. Um, the, it does a really good job. I also, uh, you can see she has some carrot scraps that um, we like to give them. My wife's cousin has a restaurant and sometimes she'll give us um, lettuce. Uh, from the restaurant to give to them and of course grass. I would like to get a different setting um, In the winter time, of course, we put straw in there for them But I would like to get them out um, looking into like the colony type setting For them maybe eventually one day. But yeah, this is what we have. It's kind of um, Rudimentary, but you know, it works for us Here's our little tiny rooster <laughs> He kind of keeps to himself the even the hens aren't really fond of him uh, but he's a cute little guy so that's what we have for our you can see some of the chickens I let them out this evening so that's what we have for our, our rabbit setup um, what's your favorite rabbit uh, what do you like what sh what breed should uh, should we try or should we stay with the silver fox I think we'll stay with the silver fox